The importance of Trans Day of Remembrance is to uplift and remember those we lost within our community, and also recognize and support those who are still here. Transgender Day of Remembrance is an opportunity to remember all those in the trans community that are no longer with us because of hate and violence. Please take time today to think about all those that are no longer with us. Catherine Newhouse, or better known as Katie, was a 19-year-old Asian-American neurodivergent transgender woman. She was a native of Illinois. She had a passion for hiking, sightseeing, and advocating for trans rights. It brings me extreme sadness to say that on March 19, 2022, she was killed by her father in Georgia before he died by suicide using the same weapon. My heart goes out to Katie and all of the other beautiful trans souls that we have lost, and I am only inspired to keep on fighting the fight for our rights and moving towards a more peaceful and loving future. Fern Feather, who used both she, hers, and they, them pronouns, was kind and free-spirited. The 29-year-old trans woman was known to bring joy to everyone around her. Her friends remember her making others feel valued wherever she went. Unfortunately, Fern Feathers was killed in Morristown, Vermont on April 12, 2022. Nidra Sequence Morris, a 50-year-old Black transgender woman, was strong, feisty, opinionated, and loved talking to her many friends on the phone. On May 14, 2022, Morris was fatally shot in Opelika, Florida. More than 100 people held a vigil at an intersection where Morris's body was found. Kitty Monroe, a Black trans woman, was a loving friend and beloved mom to her four small dogs, China, Milan, Tokyo, and London, whom she posted countless photos of on social media. She was killed outside of Memphis in Cordova, Tennessee on June 29, 2022. Maricela Castro was planning a birthday party celebration with friends and family. Tragically, on July 29th, the eve of her birthday, Maricela was shot and killed in the North Shore neighborhood of Houston, Texas. According to her friend George Louis Lazardo, as quoted in the Houston Chronicle, she was a bright and sunny person who never made enemies. Aaron Lynch, a trans man, was shot and killed by police in McLean, Virginia, on July 7th, 2022. Lynch was an avid writer and a voracious student. One of his teachers recalled that instructing him was one of the single most powerful reasons I want to continue teaching. In lieu of flowers, Lynch's family requests donations to the ACLU or Trevor Project. Maddie Hoffman, a 47-year-old trans woman born in Korea and raised in the U.S. by their adoptive family was killed by police in Malvern, Pennsylvania on May 19th, 2022. According to a GoFundMe organized by a family friend, Maddie was one of six siblings. They had a deep bond with their youngest sister, Emily, who was also adopted from Korea. AC Morrison was a 30-year-old two-spirit person who was described as kind-hearted, loving, down-to-earth, and all-around a great person who was always there for her friends and family. She was shot dead in Rapid City, South Dakota on August 21st. Tiffany Banks. Friends remember her as a beautiful and sociable butterfly. They say that when she came around, there was never a dull moment. They say that she used to love to sing and dance. Today and every day, it's vitally important that we remember those we have lost and that we never stop to continue to fight for justice for them, especially today on the Transgender Day of Remembrance. Our hearts go out to all those killed this Transgender Day of Remembrance. We also acknowledge the names that are not recorded, the people who are not seen for whom they truly are. And we are always deeply saddened by the pain that our community continues to go through. But with our heavy hearts, we lift each other up and we support those now to be visible, to be seen, and to be heard. And, of course, to be loved. <laughs>